Okay, so for this quick video, what we want to do is we want to populate this path going in the background for this VFX shot just with some stones and rocks and things like that just so we can add some more interest because it's quite basic geometry if I just jump into the perspective you can see it's very low poly which is fine further out there we could up the poly count here but for the moment that's all good so in order to create some rocks to go further down we're gonna use a mash network so I've got these these rocks here these are actually pieces of coal so we've got eight of them and they're at the origin now before we continue I should just say that your geometry as a base in mash in terms of colliding with each other mash looks at the scale of one to one so technically your object should be a scale of one to one if you don't want them to collide properly i've not worked out another way to stop that from happening so there is a good chance that some of these will collide together so i've built them at the origin and i've frozen transformations on all of these so i'll just select all of these pieces of geometry hold space go to mash create network so now that hides all of them and we can see one of them which would be the first one we selected that has an ID number of zero so in the outline of the mash network is now at the bottom and within the mash network we have this number which is eight so we have eight different pieces of coal but in this instance they're going to be used as like rocks or dirt, they're just generic distorted spheres. So now all this geometry here I've placed just in the bottom of my outliner so I know where it is. So I'll go to mash. We could use the distribute node and put in a mesh here but what we actually want to do is because we can only see a slither of the path we just want to paint on that specific area so in mash I'm going to create a placer add placer node and now we need to add the paint meshes so I'm just going to 15 minutes later okay so for attaching this this geometry all this into the mash network we need to turn on shapes this seems to be the fastest way to do it and then we can select our polygon shapes one by one of all these fields and then the mesh network and then we can middle mouse drag from one of them into here and then we get all the polygon shapes added without having the shapes visible it doesn't seem to work all the time so this is just a way that I've noticed does work so that's attached, so we've got all these meshes there. If we look in this placer node still, in the object list, we just have the one with ID zero, so that'll be the first coal I selected. So if I, if I change the ID mode to random, and so it's saying it's the selection is between ID zero and ID zero, and I know I picked eight objects, so I'm gonna change that to seven, and now in the object list we go up to coal geo 8 so that's good and so collide on create is something to be aware of so if we put this to like strict then it should keep the geometry apart however based on the scale uh, it's looking for a scale size of one by one which is very small um, it, there's, it's likely that it's going to still collide at some point with the object so we can we can either leave this off or put it to collide and it should avoid some collision the difference between this one and this one like collide and strict strict if everything is to the correct scale it should just lay out everything pretty much in a grid looking format if you completely just paint everywhere with strict on and and all your original instanced objects are to a one by one scale 
then they will end up looking like a grid formation pretty much and then collide should be a more natural look but I know based on the shapes and sizes of these objects that we probably will get collision I'm going to turn on random scale which is this one so we start the scale of default 1 which is referring to the scale that they were originally at and let's put 5 to see how that goes and then we can click add this will give us the paintbrush and then holding down B and moving left and right with my mouse that will just scale the size of the brush and then I can start to paint around there I can actually do this from my camera view because I only really want geometry there so I'm just going to change the size of the brush um, I can change density scatter let's put that up and the brush spacing let's put that up as well in fact I'm going to turn over scan on because I really just want it for that section so I'm going to lower over scan I mean turn on pan and zoom enabled so I'm going to lower this so it zooms in and pan it which I've already used in the past so I just want to be painting on this particular area so I'll go back to my mash network and hit add and start painting it down and let's say we want them smaller where's the scale so I'll just do them between 1 and 2 density up that maybe 15 and turn on scatter this should just spread them out more that's all the scatter is doing and so it would just be a case of spreading these out so the idea of doing it from camera is just because I don't want to add any of these uh, any of this geometry in areas that I cannot see and further away I don't really want as much so I can get away with it so I know that the VFX shot will pretty much be just to the left of where I'm moving the mouse now. So I can just continue doing that. My Maya's just lagging a bit. Let's move to perspective. Cool. so you can see from painting through there this is what it looks like so we're just getting this strip going further down there this is a very long pathway keep in mind so in real world scale this is probably about half a mile or half a mile to a mile in real world scale and then we have these pieces of geometry scattered along there this geometry here, the fields are a bit lumpy, so there's only certain bits you can actually see through the camera. So if I go back to the camera, and with overscan on, that's how it's looking. So I'll turn overscan back off to see what the actual render would look like. And you can see there we have some nice scatter to begin with. I'll turn off the shading and yeah that's not too bad so far I mean these are these are massive but it's just for demonstrative purposes so hopefully that helps you get around to placing rocks in your environments